welcome back to Ra Ra's Ventures. It's a little bit windy here, but that's okay. It's also a little bit rainy. You have to excuse me as I've got a clipboard with a little bit of a strip because you know what I'm like, a bit forgetful. So today we are here visiting the Aldenbourne Centre uh, to share with you what to expect whilst visiting. Uh, today we came here by car as you can't get here by bus or train but you can get a train to Chichester and then get a taxi from Chichester to the Aldenbourne Centre. We'll be sharing with you not only the location but also what they offer like disabled toilets, disabled parking, discounts and all them kind of things. Uh, we knew this would be a great place to visit um, as their vision as a trust is to help people with disabilities become full and active citizens, which is what we're all about too. Uh, the Alden Born Trust supports people with learning disabilities and autism to reach their potential across Sussex. They provide real skills care and jobs in a very 21st century way and if that wasn't enough it's also a great day out so why don't we go and see what we can find hi guys so this is our first stop for today's adventure here at the Aldrin Board Centre they have this brilliant open farm which is open seven days a week 10 to 4, just to let you guys know that on Wednesdays they open at 11. Hayley is super excited today as this farm you can meet the animals and this is why she's so excited as they have goats, Shetland ponies, donkeys, alpacas, turkeys, guinea pigs, chickens, pigs and ducks also buy animal feed for just two pounds and yes I'm going to get some for Haley's in three year old in herself so let's go and meet some fur animals hi guys we just wanted to show you the duck pond They've got ducks and chickens here. They've got some really quite unusual one. I'm not an expert on chicken breeds, but that one's got a really fluffy head. And then that one there's got really fluffy feet. They're so beautiful. It's really lovely to see them all out enjoying themselves. It's a lovely pond. Let's go and explore the next bit. is stroking the donkey. Yeah. He's lovely. Yeah, oh, happy donkey. I think Tara might be here all day with this one. He's lovely. Gorgeous. Look at them ears. He's got huge ears. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so, me and Tara are going to go and take a break now at the cafe. We're not going to record in there because there's quite a lot of people and obviously we don't want to get everyone on camera. But we're going to take some photos and then we'll show you them after. So, we're going to have a cup of tea. We'll see you in a minute. It's because Tara has just gone up in the lift because we just found out that you can go down the slide even as an adult. So, she's going to be coming down any minute because you know what she's like. She's got her inner three-year-old like me. It's quite a big slide. We're ready. I think she's gonna um, try and film herself coming down. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. 
<laughs> you should try that. <laughs> Hi guys, so this is the inside of the lift. She's just going up. Tara's just had her turn down the slide. So now I'm gonna go down the slide. There I am. See, no, no shoes on. Not allowed to wear shoes on the slide. Okay. Following you around. Ready for this, everyone's staring. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Hi everyone. So we're back here in the main entrance at the Aldingbourne Centre. The reason we stopped here and wanted to do a little bit of recording is because I wanted to mention the toilets here. They're absolutely fantastic. You've got baby changing facilities. So whether you're a dad or a mum, you're allowed to go in there, change baby. They've also got men's toilets, women's toilets, and disabled toilets. Which are a little bit further down. Now the fantastic thing about these toilets is, even in the men's and women's, there is two cubicles that are for disabled people. So you've got railings, and there's also a lowered sink in there, which we thought was absolutely fantastic. The flooring's all flat, the door's easy to open, it's just brilliant. And the other thing we wanted to mention is their lift. Now they've got a lift here, it's not a big lift, it's quite small, but it is so smooth. Now I know for people like Tara, that when they're jerked, for her, it sets off her chronic pain in her ribs. But the lift is completely smooth. You don't realise you're going up and you don't realise you stopped, which to me is absolutely brilliant. So I just wanted to share that with you. So we're gonna go and have a look at the uh, rest of the place now. So here we are at the maze. This is a super fun maze. It was opened in September 2016 after a whole year of work. They planted 1,500 privé trees to make this maze, which in 2016 was considered the biggest maze by units of plants in Sussex, Surrey and Hampshire. So we're gonna go in, see if we can get a little bit lost. Okay, this way. They're growing really nicely, considering this is what, um, it's now around four years and four months old. So they're getting quite high, aren't they? I just think it's a really sweet idea for adults, but also for kids, because it's, you know, kids love a maze, don't they? So do you, Hayley. You're the so biggest I. kid here. <laughs> Which way are we going to go? This way? It's actually bigger than I thought it was. Yeah. Now the ground here is a little bit muddy. Um, wear wellies because um, you'll ruin your shoes on one now. So. <laughs> I'm going to run off and leave Tara by herself. No! <laughs> You can get very far this one. This goes no, it's a dead end, Hayley. <laughs> that goes round. <laughs> so I can't run away from you because it's stuck. Well, that's not the right way to go. <laughs> it's so quiet here as well, isn't it? It's lovely. Oh, No. <laughs> Are you cheating? Oh, a little bit, yeah. Meow. <laughs> 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 oh, look. Tiny little bird's nest. That's not something you see every day, is it? No. That's what I love about here, because it is, you know, countryside. It's all for the animals and the nature. It's lovely. Oh, sweet. Oh, this is a dead end. <laughs> this is a dead end. <laughs> Not way. this way. Oh, it's not that way either. Oh, my. We're really lost. This way. <laughs> she hopes. Windy. It is. But at least it's not raining. That is true, that's a blessing. 
I'd love to come back when this is completely grown. Yes. Like, and just literally come and get lost. Yeah. Uh, I'm not lost again, Tara. Oh, look, look. Bridge. There's the middle. There's a bridge. Just got to get to the bridge. It's like a viewing area. Ah. Oh, go up there and investigate. Okay, how? Up here. Are you sure? Uh -uh. Hayley, it's not this way. <laughs> it's not this way. Right, I'm going round. Oh, dead end, dead end. Oh, bugger. Where are you? I'm coming. I don't know how to get to you. <laughs> Hello. I don't know which way it is. Was it this way? Oh my. Oh maybe. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> <sighs> It's really big and we're lost well, in a maze. Hey, <laughs> really uh, you're enjoying this little maze trip. Sorry if we're making you dizzy. Yeah, we don't mean to intentionally. Let's go. This way? Or oh, was it that way? Oh dear. <laughs> How are you doing, Hayley? <laughs> oh, Hayley. I think we've gone the wrong way. Oh, oh. Look, they found the middle. Oh no, you can't get to it here either. Down that way. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, we made it! Right, gonna have a little look. Pop the apples and pears. Stop it. Well, this is the view from the middle. Oh, that's really cool. Sun's coming out, lovely. Yeah, we like the sun. Oh, cool, man. Okay, we're not going to show you guys the exit because you're going to come and find it yourselves. Yep, so for now, we're going to say bye. See you in a we'll bit. See you in a bit. Hi guys, so we've just taken a five minute break so I can sit down for a minute. Um, as you all know, I am disabled as well and I am in quite a bit of pain at the minute with my back and my tummy. So we've decided to sit down five minutes, just relax. Luckily there's lots of seating around here where we can stop and sit. So it's always good to know. So we'll carry on in about five minutes with our little tour whilst I'll just catch my breath and rest. the Aldenbourne countryside is located here in the beautiful Sussex countryside close to the South Downs. When you visit you can enjoy the tranquil, tranquil woodland walkways, wildlife spotting and the natural woodland playground. Now we can't go in today because we've had high winds recently, it's closed off today, but if you do come here and you go on the woodland walk there's actually a natural brothery which is crafted from sustainable materials and has a grass roof. It was built by Ben Law of ITV's Grand Designs fame. You can also hire it as a venue or meeting room. And I demand that this should be our new office. <laughs> okay, well, let's go and have a look around somewhere else.
Hi guys, so I just wanted to let you know that here at the Aldenbourne Centre they have a wood recycling and buying product. So whether you're a builder or a craftsperson or just need supplies for your project, they have a regular collection so they always have new stock and pick up a green bargain so another great reason to visit. Now today we're not going over there for two reasons. One, it's absolutely hammering it down and two, um, we didn't want to disturb them as it looks quite closed up today and it's a Sunday so I might explain it um, but we thought we'd just let you know about what they also do here extra. I just wanted to show you the beautiful donkeys that I have here at the Audubon Centre and my donkeys are kept with the Shetland ponies there's a little one trotting over over there they are so beautiful and it's so nice to be up close to them and just watch them eating and drinking and it's just lovely you feel like you're in the middle of the countryside it's amazing So we've come to the end of our visit at the Aldenbourne Centre. I have loved every minute of it, it's been really good. I've loved going around all the animals, the plants, it's a real shame we couldn't go through the woods, it did look lots of fun, but we've had fun all the way around and we're allowed to go down the slide, oh yes. So. We would like to say a massive thank you to the Aldenbourne Trust um, for letting us come along today and visit and able to share with others what to expect whilst visiting. Um, we would also like to say a big thank you to all our followers for following us and supporting us. If you have just joined us on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, follow yeah you know drill um and give us a thumbs up and we'd just like to say a massive thank you to everyone for today and thank you for all your support and we look forward to seeing you next time when we go out on our adventures so bye for now